Hello students, hope you are doing good. In this video, we are going to explore math module. Math module contains functions which are used for mathematical operations. Hope you are familiar with the functions from the math module. If not, let's explore some of them. Here is a list of some of the functions. Power function is used to calculate the power of a number. We will be providing base and the exponent. There is a function to calculate the square root of a number. Even there is a function to calculate factorial. Here are some of the functions which are used for rounding of cell and floor. Absolute function changes the negative number to the positive. There are different functions to calculate the logarithm. Even there are different functions for the trigonometric values also. Let's try to understand how to use these functions. In the first program, we are going to calculate the power of a number. So let's go to VS code. Create one python file in the IDE whichever you are using. The first step is to import math module. There are different ways to import module. Here is one of them. With this we are importing all the functions from the math module. To use function from the module you need to first write the name of the module. The function name is power. Let's check out the syntax. The first parameter is x and the second parameter is y. It will calculate x to the power y. So x is nothing but base and y is the exponent of that. Let's take one simple example. If you want to calculate 2 to the power 3, we will be writing 2 comma 3. If you want to store this in a variable, you can do it. We will just directly print and check the output first. Let's execute the program. Here is the output. We got the output in the form of float. Remember python gives the result in the form of float. We have hard coded this and provided direct values. Now you need to input the base as well as exponent. Store this in a variable and print it. So let me modify this program. Look at the code. It is looking nice. Here is the first step where we are taking the input. We took the base as well as the exponent. You know what is base and exponent. We write base and the exponent will be the power of that number. Using POW function we are calculating the power of a number. Here is the base and the exponent. Storing in a variable result. And with the print statement we are printing it. Same values we will enter and check our output. So here is the output. 2 raised to 3 is equals to 8. Now you can try this program for different values. It's time to proceed and check one more function from the math module that is sqrt to calculate the square root of a number. What's the first step? We need to import math module. If you want to check the functions available in the math module, just write math and dot. You will get the list of the functions available in this. Look at the functions. There is a long list of the functions which are available in the math module. From that we are going to use square root function. Look at the syntax. It will take one number and it will return the answer in the form of float. Let's try for one value 25. Instead of storing in a variable, we will directly print and check the output. Time to execute the program. Look at the output. The square root of 25 is 5. You know what we need to do now? We need to improve the program. Take the number as an input, calculate the square root, store it in a variable and print it. Alright, look at the code. We are taking one number. To calculate square root, we need integer number. So we are converting it because by default it will be string. Using sqrt function, we are calculating the square root of the number which will get stored in a square root value variable that we are printing. Here we are formatting the output using f string. It is the easiest way to format the output. Once you need to start the single quote or double quote and the variable names you will be providing in the placeholder which are denoted by the curly brackets. Don't forget to write the f to make it f string. It's time to run the code. Enter the value of your choice. I am entering 25 again to cross check it. Here is the output. The square root of 25 is 5. Try the program for other numbers. Let's write 16. We got the answer 4. It's perfectly working fine. Let's explore some more functions of the math module. We are going to calculate cell and floor of a number. For that we have function cell and floor. Hope you know the working of both the functions. If not, now it will get cleared. Importing the math module. First of all, let's use the cell function. Look at the syntax. We need to provide one number. 
the function will return the selling of x selling of x means this is the smallest integer greater than or equal to x meaning what let's take one number 4.5 sell function returns the result in the form of integer so tell me in the comments what number you will get you will get 4 or 5 let's print and check the output look at the output we got 5 hope you know the working of sell function to understand this concept you can always remember this example look at the ceiling ceiling will be on the top look at the fan why we call it as a ceiling fan because ceiling will be on the top the number is 4.5 after this 4.5 the next integer number will be 5 the next integer number bigger than this 4.5 is nothing but 5 that's why cell function will give the next integer number similarly if we apply floor function on the 4.5 what you will get you will get 4 how you will understand the logic of floor always floor will be down so you have to look down means you need to take the integer number which is smaller than the mentioned decimal number that is nothing but 4 so ceiling will be on the top and floor will be on the downside accordingly we will get the numbers so cell function will give the next integer number and floor function will give the lower integer number look at the output after execution of the program cell value is 5 and the floor value is 4 as usual to check the output we hard coded this program now it's time to take the input from the user so that we will have the liberty to work on the different numbers if you want the code i will provide the link for the github repo all right here is the complete code first we are taking a number it should be a decimal number now we are applying both cell as well as floor function on the number and here is the printing part again we are using f string to format the string now you know the syntax to use it let's check out the output we got the same output our program is working fine try out for different numbers here is one more function we are going to practice that is factorial you may need this function to calculate the factorial in series program all right then pause the video and give it a try and write the code in the comment so others also will get benefit from it i hope you have done it here is the first step to import math module we are taking input to calculate factorial we need one integer number in the third step we are applying factorial function on the input number finally we are printing the factorial of a number which we are storing in a variable factorial value let's execute this program and check the output i'm going to enter number 4 and the factorial of number 4 is 24 try out for different values let's try for number 5 and the factorial of 5 is 120 we practice some of the functions of the math module now how we will use those functions to solve other programs let's try to understand it with one example where we are going to calculate area of circle using the functions from the math module the first step is to import the module to use the functions from that module remember always the import statement should be the first statement in the program if you are trying to import any module to calculate area of circle we need radius so let's take the input we need to convert it to float it's time to calculate area the formula is pi r square instead of keeping the value 3.14 for value of pi we are going to take this constant pi from the math module along with functions modules will have some constants also so pi is also one of the constant now how to write r square r square means the base will be r that is nothing but the variable radius we need to calculate square so the exponent will be 2 so look at the formula we are calculating the area of circle using functions from the math module now it's time to print the area Let's check the output. I am going to enter any random value 5 and we are getting the area of the circle. Try it for different values. 
Hope you enjoyed this session. Share it with your friends. In the next video, we are going to discuss some of the important questions from the chapter flow of control. So until next time, stay curious, stay healthy. I will see you in the next video.